You might have heard of the national security inquiry that's recently taking place or the data retention proposal that's part of it and you might have no idea what the hell that means. Well, let me fill you in. The data retention proposal aims at storing the internet browsing history of all Australians for two years. Um, so this is regardless of whether or not you're a criminal or not, it's just everybody for two years. This is obviously a major violation of everyone's privacy. And of course the reason that they give for you know needing such a surveillance system is terrorist and pedophile boogeymen, which um, it won't actually help catch them very much because if you're a terrorist or a pedophile, you already know how to get around you know simple data monitoring of your internet communications um, you know and that's it's not going to catch it's not going to catch those big bad guys it's only going to catch petty criminals who uh, are you know stupid and just violate the privacy of everybody so um, you know and it's also very dangerous because the government you know you might want you might think oh, okay I trust the government I, I trust the government to keep everyone's browsing history without um, you know violating it um, but the government isn't going to be the one collecting this data and it's not going to be the one storing this data and it's not going to be the one keeping it secure um, they want to outsource this all to your internet service providers um, and basically because they don't want to pay for it um, so it brings up a few concerns namely the cost either the ISPs are going to have to pay for it which means that your internet bills are going to go up or you know it's going to be paid for by the government and hence you the taxpayer so you're going to be paying for a system that surveils you and doesn't catch the big bad guys um, and not only that but it also violates your privacy and this is especially worrying because it, if it's stored at the ISP level then they've got it you know there's no way that they can keep that information secure um, ISPs have been hacked into in the past, customer data has been released and you know the only thing saving people from having their browsing history compromised is the fact that at the moment the ISPs don't keep this data. So there's that and there's also the fact that employees that work at ISPs are human beings, you know, and some, you know, if you're a, if you're a creepy stalker guy who you work at an ISP and you want to find out more information about the browsing habits of you know the person you're stalking you can see that this this is ripe for it's just ripe for something going really wrong and that it won't actually work at its stated goals in the first place so uh, how can you how can you safeguard your online privacy um, if such a system does come into pass and even if it doesn't um, one of the best ways is to use a program called Tor now, Tor is an anonymization network, so um, if you've ever seen in the movies where they're trying to trace somebody on a phone call and they trace it to at one point, they say, oh, we've got him, he's in London on a payphone. No, wait, he's just bouncing the signal off a US server. Um, no, wait, he's actually, in, you know, and they keep bouncing the signal. This is essentially the way that, that Tor works. Rather than, you know, the normal clear internet where you make a request to your ISP, and your ISP just goes to that website, grabs it, and then gives it back to you so they know what you've been looking at. Through Tor, you make a request to your ISP, but that request is encrypted, and it sends that encrypted request onto a Tor node, which then sends it onto another Tor node and another Tor node. So you essentially bounce the signal around. And between all of these nodes, the information is encrypted so that nobody can see what it is. And it's only once it gets to the final Tor node, what's known as the exit node, that it actually makes a request through the normal internet to get that web page and return it. But then that exit node doesn't actually know where you are. It just knows the, you know, the, the next step in the chain that it has to go back. So using such a system um, called Tor, you can you know, safeguard your online privacy. Um, and I'll be showing you how to do that in a follow-up video where you can download the software and run it um, very simply. Thanks.